Josh was the kid in class that always got in trouble for making everyone laugh. He was outgoing and fun. I've known him for as long as I can remember, but we became friends when I was in seventh grade and he was in eighth. I was shy and hardly talked to anyone, but sometimes he sat on the bus with me and we talked. I think I had a crush on him then. I liked the way he could talk to anybody and make them feel good. I liked the way he made me feel about myself. Like I was worth knowing. The summer after my freshman year, I'd get a text message from him every morning asking if I wanted to hang out. Our place was the Red Bridge in town. We'd wait for trains to come by and sometimes Josh would try and jump them. I wanted to be brave like him. One of my favorite memories is when he took me hiking. We hiked to a place I'd never been, even though I lived there my whole life. We jumped over trees to get to the old bridge by the river. We walked on the railroad tracks. I'd never explored like that and I felt freer than I'd ever been. That's the thing about Josh, he brought out the best in people. I tried to be more like him, talking to people more, not being afraid, trying to make people feel good. Once he told me that I'd always have a friend when I needed one. I knew he was my best friend. The last time I saw Josh, I was working at the Carhartt store. He texted to see if he could visit. He grabbed a cash register chair and sat next to me at the counter. We talked. I didn't hear from him for a few days. My mom heard the news at the Dollar General. He just loaded his gun before hunting and tripped. The gun went off. He died instantly. When she told me, I sobbed. I still cry. I never got to tell him how much he meant to me and impacted my life, but I will hold on to our memories forever.